morning everyone, thanks for being here. Uh, Sandy wanted us to be a direct attendee. And you see, always saw a brighter look outside on the side of the So everybody, please not be sad about this time to let it be Sandy worked 22 years in the pregnancies. Now, never done larger, never with different to get her aware of it. Things always seem to be irrelevant in her life, having no effect to a busy time at times. We did indeed have many great times together without even thinking about it, so it really was not a, uh, a, a restriction. Uh, personally, I think perhaps, by the way, this is a very short, I'm not a man of few words. Uh, we'd like to thank those that stood by in the last day, mainly Dr. Lucatino, who's been for the last several years. Uh, he actually managed to make the last a lot longer than what anyone else expected, so we were very really grateful for that. Dr. Hugh e. Wigner, who had personal, always had a personal interest in the health, always said, always asked about it, and always, always was there any form of death and call. Then, uh, Jared Life, Jared Health, Palliative care and future home nursing were quite amazing. They were there at every beck and call, and she, whenever she felt something, she didn't want to take a bed, she was trying to there, the same with two lunch in her school. So it was a really pleasant experience. They would come with all sorts of new ideas, how to make them comfortable, and she was there, they were there all the time. Then we have uh, directly Marco and Janine Orford, which are always available, also at our beck and call. You know, when you go into an age of, of passing away over the last two weeks, you don't know what to do. And Dorothy and Jimmy were always there. They had good experience in this area and uh, offered sympathy at a moment school. Please come and visit. Yes, they know they're 15 minutes later. So thank you for that. Then we also like Wendy, Sandy's sister, who was always there provided for, for relief for, for the family where we could actually get a break. And uh, obviously, meals also were very accommodating. Jenny Haynes for bringing food all the time, making sure we get our proper veggies from this uh, uh, vegetarian and uh, the three boys in the house who had sat in and took a few men from Then also, those who travel far and wide from Dennis who have been very good in the last few days, it's a fun, much needed comfort, bed for the attendant and laughter, which she enjoyed so much, but often when we were there, she wanted us to stay later and later. It's actually accommodated in uh, everybody in the room, and uh, the day came and uh, we opened up a bottle of wine, and the next thing we set a bottle of wine, we were all around the bed, and all I could do was attend and laugh and bring this into the So it was really, uh, the last few days were very difficult. Uh, we received found hundreds of contracts of tributes from around the world, all echoing the impact that we had on the line. And I've seen that one that would probably encompass the entire healing that we were living across. And I'll just read it to you. Our most, my most special friend and fearless warrior, Sandy Corbett, lost a battle against cancer after 22 years. Sandy, you're an incredible inspiration to me and to so many others. You really celebrated life and never let the illness be too or defined. Sending some of those to Jeff Carlin, Chad, Lindsay, and Margaret, and all the friends and family whose lives life to touch. Sending all of this to Wise Council, ready to launch this in Jack's optimistic spirit. But I'm also so grateful for the past 20 years, plus years, that I'm privileged to call you my friend. You are an absolute legend and I'm treasure you for the many amazing men that you made together. That's encompasses everyone. I love Sandy and so did she. We were great friends of the earth with each other. Sandy was also not good with his I was also touched by it, and we also had many amazing and forgettable memories together. She rode the white horses at the Zambezi with me, only once so. though. <laughs> and then of course uh, we, she managed to go into a scuba diving with me, also again many once. And obviously, from my side, I was reciprocated by going shopping with her occasionally. Taking a life, resting. Carl and Kate went out for reading the literature. I hope you've also liked one of these.
For those who don't know me, I am Chad, the youngest child and resident troublemaker. Um, I'd like to excuse the, uh, the pamphlets. I, I kind of didn't realize uh, the visual uh, ability of everyone who would be in attendance. <laughs> I'll, I'll be sure to pick white. Uh, my mom requested that the funeral wasn't a sad affair like my father mentioned, and that we focus on remembrance and happy thoughts. She also requested that we have an after party at uh, Clavelli Country Club, so maybe I'm allowed to be there for the script and be a little bit salted. I thought it might be nice to share some memories from my perspective of how I was being raised by my mom. For lack of a better word, my life has been filled with nothing but happiness. When I was young, my mother always got us the best presents, and we always threw the best birthday parties, especially my friend first. Um, some of the gifts, um, some of those gifts came from her work trip uh, overseas, uh, usually from Hamby or some other departmental store in the UK. So when it came to play, it's always a stocked collection. But this was often a double-edged sword as while she was away, my dad would be on lunch duty at school. So going from fresh sandwiches made that morning to refrigerated bread with cheese door stoppers was always a tough adjustment for me and my brother. I'm also sure her work colleagues will remember having to help her pack her cumbersome train or pack cumbersome train sets and Legos into a bag. I think the final straw was when she tried getting an electric hedge on the back from my father in the UK. I can't remember whose bag it was put into, but I don't remember any more gifts of that sale coming back from overseas. I genuinely have fond memories of it though. Like the time she made me a volcano cake for my birthday. It was so big and decorated with toy dinosaurs. All I remember is the joy of walking because, like every time, I was also cool. Um, well, the time she requested a monkfish from Sea Harvest for my brother's biology project, that being another time she invoked the work colleagues for us. One of the many things you will remember about her is that she never drank. Some would say that it's a virtuous drink, but for the rest of us, especially those who attended the seven bush like myself and my brother, somewhat unfathomable. <laughs> she she always promised that she promised us that when we graduated she would share a glass of champagne, but she never did until the final days. I'm not much of a sentimental person, person, but that token gesture was something I always wanted from her, which is why on New Year's Eve uh, last year, uh, while she was laying on bed and my dad and I were toasting, I was cursing, quoting something like, your little is already stuck, what's one more step? <laughs> which she obliged, and that token said meant the world to me, and I could tell it meant the world to her. Interestingly enough, it was actually quite an expensive bottle, which gave ammunition for my dad to believe that my brother and I were drinking all the good stuff. <laughs> Mom, you gave me a life of joy and happiness. Yes, there were times of self-doubt, anger, loneliness and sadness, but I remember my time with you with fondness and contentment. Sure, you will miss the day I eventually get married, you will miss the opportunity to see your grandkids, and you will miss the opportunity to see me grow up old, but When I first attended school, when I was elected club captain for the Nippers, when I achieved my Springbok Scout, you were there when I graduated high school, and you were there when I finally got my degree. You were there, Mom, and you should be part of that. I'm so certain that. I'm never going to miss my one of kind mom. She was always there for me to land, ready to land the gear, ready to get short to climb, and ready to get some completely unbiased, um, different opinion that was always sweet in my favor. Um, I thought it would be important to say that I'm completely thankful, um, to my mom for bringing me up in this faith and for teaching me to have faith in Christ and to do good works in every way and everything I do. I know that she did too, and I found certain she's dressing in peace watching down on the floor from heaven above today. This really helped me through the tough times, the interesting times, when race is required, or while speaking patience, as well as when I'm in the lab, I'm wrapping the mysteries and wonders of creation, one of the good at a time. Thank you, Mom. My mom could always be counted on for having a trusty demand to have the ring, whenever it's inspection and never taken to the end of And if she didn't see a cold temperature sitting at least 32 degrees Celsius, it could be certain it's going to be returned to bed. I'm a child and I crank up that album for the three minutes. 
And um, I'm also just talking, this is pretty responsible for French language through from Wallstock, the Buddhist Keys and so on. And that made our answer from the Virgin Miles from the Edward and the Monks of Fame. We always had the newest legs and greatest child products, and we often told guys who can't talk about this, it has an evil shape. And it was always great to wear the fridge, especially during the early years of Varsity. Um, and, um, yeah, on the top of the food, thanks mom for always making the best food, trying to inspire me to come cook in the kitchen, and, uh, going out of the field, cooking up and looking up some dish in the kitchen, like the roast person in Sudan, and saying, I'm ready to talk. I'm lucky to have had just shot 28 years to listen in, and I'm lazy to discuss all things food science and food safety with my mom. Gain valuable insights into crisis management from a retailer point of view. Make most of the connections, like uh, getting a nice trip to Vietnam or the far flung areas of Strand, and learn how to uh, find the Sierra and other packages on the way to I'm looking forward to carrying on doing good wherever I go and whatever I do, and I'll be the kind of to carrying on in her line of work or to ask my dad who is studying in her line of work. Um, and on top of my dad, I think Chad and I, as I have to say, just uh, what I rock my dad was my mom in the last days, and throughout their marriage, um, I think he would be having one really encompasses um, of a lovely, caring marriage, and always uh, my dad was actually going above and beyond his form for mom, um, and you could see everything, everything he did was lovely care and love, so thanks dad for setting a good example, um, and for always being there. Um, and to probably just come to you from the lab to food factory to fire line on my team, it's on a slightly sketchy area of cake on the ambulance. I'm definitely going to miss knowing my mom's live tracking me on my team, so it's been telling me this tiny dog story that I'm feeding some gangster when the fact it's an old lady having a panic attack in the 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 in Thank you for everything, Mom. I love you, I'm going to get you, and I'll see you again when my time comes. Thanks for everything, Mom. In a time of silence, let us make our personal petitions of thanksgiving for all that's on the right to to us. For her life and our memories to be thanks. A reading taken from Revelations chapter 22, reading from verses 1, 5. Then the angel showed me the level of the words of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of the great sea of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life giving twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree of the living of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in the city. And his servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be only four years. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of the Lamb or the light of the sun. For the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign forever and ever. We are the word of the Lord. We are sitting in music for the world with love. people 
on the Lord. In saying in God's presence, God is the light and there is no death or pain or suffering. And so it is a new world, a world where we are healed. And it is to this world that we commend Sandy to be healed completely. And it is this conversation that we had when we spoke of peace, the newness, the life. And she said, Am I good enough? Will this God want me? And my response to her was that if we look and we see all these amazing things around us which we understand God made for us to enjoy, then we are not dealing with a narrow-minded person. We are dealing with the originator of love. And the originator of love is always wanting to invite us to journey close to him or her. And so when you find yourself in that space, trust the originator of love. We are happy to hear that in the end, in a moment of silence, all by herself, she closed her eyes and left us in order to claim this place and image and hope that we have in a life completely restored beyond this one. And so we commend her to rest in God's peace. We pray for her in this beautiful place where the river continues to be the focus of who she is. And we pray for her family because they will find that there are difficult days, there are difficult moments, there are things that will set them off. But even though their wife and mother and sister said we must be happy, there will be those moments when we will want her with us. Somebody said of their mother dying of cancer. She said when my mother was alive, she was in pain, and now that she is not there, we are in pain. Pain will not be too much, but the wonderful memories of who Sandy was will sustain you and excite you and give you hope.
I'm so proud of your involvement with the NSRI, with Animal Rescue, with Metro Rescue, and with others. I'm immensely proud that you are following in my footsteps by choosing to study food science and know that you're going to accomplish amazing things in that field. Kyle, I wish you everything of the best as you complete your PhD. I wish you a beautiful life. Jeff, thank you for loving me and for taking such good care of me. You are and have always been amazing. I know that having to care for me during my illness could not have been easy. Yet you stuck with me and did so many special things for me. Thank you. One of my stand-up moments or memories with you is sitting on the steps of a bridge looking at a canal in Italy. Just sitting there eating panini's is one of the memories that I will take with me to my grave. It was a special moment and it is forever etched in my mind. Thank you, Jeff. I love you. We stand now to sing Sandy's song for the world to love.